Uh, however, this bracket, he said he was going to go all Greninja. He didn't do that. No. He went. What did he change? He went. Uh, he went to his main Luigi against LRA Start uh, because Luigi against Spaceys is just so good mm -hmm. uh, that he never wouldn't do that. But at least he has done mostly Greninja here as an attempt to make it his his uh, main applicable secondary. Yes. And uh, did that Luigi lose to LRA starts? No, they won. Oh, they won. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, sense. he's here. Oh, that that's right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I was thinking that was like winner's side. Uh, My no, apologies. He lost oh, okay. to Fawn. Ah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, now that I'm all caught up, let's see if the guy can pull out this win. Yeah, Greninja is a... Uh... It's hard to describe just how Greninja likes to operate, but... When you have the bones of such a good character with a highly mobile offense, the third best jump in the game, and a a lot of variety in terms of finishers and uh, ability to catch landings, Greninja can do so well, but it's in a lot of weird positions where Greninja falters, like having no hitbox on that recovery means it's easy picking for fun. Yes. Oh, nice little mix up there and finally gets that back air, bringing this to second stocks. All right, Fawn wanting to set up here, but that neutral are able to just go through everything. Oh, I mean, it's was... the best combo starter for Greninja, so might as well go yeah. for it. It's, of sense. it's a very prominent and it's safe, though it's just a little bit slow. Some, a bunch of stuff that can be said for a lot of Greninja's just raw moves in the air. Like, they're just a little bit slow, which means you need to find either setup or you're using a lot of back air. Hmm. Back air, neutral air, or maybe a downer, but super punishable. Speaking of Punishable, Vaughn finally finding that, uh, those two, Ooh. and oh my gosh. Clay Pigeon, man. Like, it is very, sl speaking of slow moves, like, Clay Pigeon's certainly up there, but... It's like a slow ball. Yeah. You but, never expect it. But the reward on hit is insane, so, you know, when you got a form seam fastball in so much of this game, when you get hit by the slider, it's like, uh, I wasn't <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> Man, it's not baseball season, but uh, it'll always be baseball season in, in my heart. We're in the playoffs. That's right. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm thinking of football season now. Go that's Bills. All. Let's, let's go A's. You're not in the playoffs, but I love you anyway. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> They'll never be the Las Vegas A's to me. <laughs> uh, covering with the jab on that spot dodge. Are we looking? just looking for the win box, though? We can not getting it. What a tech. Still saving their life. Vaughn at 123, Ooh. finally getting hit by that forward air. Very nice stuff here from Guy Guy. Greninja down tilt is the main, the mix up rather, between down tilt and dash attack are the main players that we're going to be seeing Guy Guy try to set up with. Mm -hmm. uh, utilize some good spacing, some water shirking, and all that utility, then try to mix up what Fawn is getting hit by, whether it's a down tilt for confirms or a dash attack for coverage, and also can uh, combos at low percent. The patience from Fawn just to sit there as Guy Guy just weaves dodges in and out. All right, what do we see here? The can, avoiding the gunman and the can. Their luck's gonna run out eventually unless they can get this back air. Oh, I love that bounce up there from uh, from Fawn. Looking so clean in terms of their positioning and placement. Bouncing it up. Oh, that nice was back air. That was such a beautiful trap from Fawn and it was when she was in the corner. So perfectly played. But you need to find this hit. Duck Hunt's eternal weakness. Closing out stocks at anything less than 150 is oftentimes very specific. Back right. throw. Yes, right into the can. Beautifully placed, but uh, that's the eye. Also, <laughs> oh, 171. Oh, not it. I mean, anything is not safe on shield. Trying to get another setup. A stray hit, maybe a back throw. And there we go. No, are you serious? I'm dying. <laughs> Vaughn, kill and him. I'm dying, and Guy Guy isn't. Like, he is just <laughs> taking these hits. And no! it shield pokes with the tipper and Fawn head in her hands. But all that work just to get trapped on the platform. That is tough, tough, tough. But this same, this earlier play. So remember earlier. Yes. This was the same type of setup, but it was over here. Mm -hmm. And Fawn let the purposefully was doing so to mimic Snake and let Guy Guy detonate the can. That uh, that is forcing this shield to be real, real low. And because the shield was already heavily damaged, 
Oh, they went for the shield poke instead. Yeah, the shield poke was guaranteed because you're hit getting that first hit. So Gwendo even more, plus the time, then the cut ah. brings it down. Well, just brilliantly played by Guy Guy. And Fun realizes it too. That's why it, they're upset just because they're like, ah, it just got outplayed. Anyway, Fawn looking like they have a grudge now. So they're going into the second game. Yeah. Guy Guy taking Fawn off stage once more. Going in deep for the kill. They're going to make it back That's unless... No. Gets the upbeat back though, so you're still theoretically fine. And you grab the ledge <gasps> and forcing an air dodge. You're no. not making it. What a kill. All right, Guy Guy shakes it off. The Gets back in here. down air one into a just a buffered air dodge. That's so tough. That gunman got sliced in half, but it is Fawn with the lead, and it's a lead that she's going to try and run away with. Okay, off stage. Oh, the clay pigeon finding its mark. No way again. Okay, okay. Guy Guy manages to get back. Swinging a little too hard. Fawn has been winning these trades left and right. <gasps> yep. What can get so overwhelming about Duck Hunt is the mental stack about all of these different things that are happening on screen all at once. Yeah, and after winning that first game, it's really hard to keep up that momentum, especially against a player like Fawn, who is always at the top of their game. For sure. So seeing this come into a position where Fawn is just starting to really run away with the lead, finally that stop being taken, but at 144, and if nothing is staled as well. I am really hoping that Fawn is not going to have a repeat here where Guy Guy is at such a high percentage, lots of rage, and ties to another trap. Oh no. Alright. Alright. Grinnin just blasting off again. Yeah. Didn't, Last stock. Didn't drop it that time, Swiss. And now Fawn gets the chance to make up for that mistake a little bit earlier. Oh, what? Just so much going on that Guy Guy can't even begin to think think about like how to evade and how to utilize Greninja's own tools of mobility and effectiveness and catching landings. If there's always a can or a clay pigeon or just something that will extend his hitbox or extend a hitbox or turn. all they were thinking was I want to live. Yes. They managed to get back on stage 113. This is so even. And no trade is going his way. Some sometimes it just you find games like these. Oh this could be it. No, good DI, but the can exploding Fawn all the way, almost in the blast zone. These double teams have not been helping and finally gets punished. Tough to be sure. Finally a down air, and that's, you know, that's how Fawn drew it up in, in the first game. It's like, all right, I just eventually will find something to clip a stock, whether it be a can or a, a back air, a, a forward tilt, like anything at these super high percents, in that case a down air. And it's a free down error as well mm. because Greninja will always, will never have a hitbox that can intercept anything that happens at ledge, whether yes. it be a two frame attempt or just a big old duck. Yeah, it was that substitution that actually cost them their second and third stock. Trying to mix it up a little bit, and you know, that's such an unfortunate first stock. No one wants to see that. And we're going Luigi here against Duck Hunt. Not a bad matchup, but you have to get in, and this is the hard part. Once you get in and get that grab, it's just Zangief. That is the, the benefit of having a extremely polarizing character in your pocket. The, regardless of all the advancements of the Luigi meta, the character still plays like a geek, still plays like a grappler. Yeah, So along with all the salt that entails. Yeah, for sure. So being able just to say, yeah, I lost that game, but now you get Luigi on FD. Have fun. That's right. <laughs> get close, give hug. Oh no. Nice little pivot grab extending the hitbox. Oh no. Okay, we're seeing some really good spacing here from Fawn, not letting Guy even get an inch in. It's a can away. Up air kicking the can away as well. What? The downside here of Final Destination. While once you get in, you may have full reign in order to perform any and all combos that you wish. <laughs> That worked out. <laughs> that was really funny. Usually you see some sort of interaction there because you have something, you have so long in order to hit Luigi, but. I think what Fawn was afraid of was that uh, up special off ledge being like, oh, it's gonna sweet spots. I will die. 
But Guy Guy finally losing that first stock, and oh, we get one grab, but nothing off of it. Instead, just throwing out those projectiles. Lots of hitboxes. Limiting a ton of space, trying to force uh, Fawn into an early option, but the coverage just able to make it back though is Guy Guy. But now you jumped off ledge, stuck it with Luigi's uh, poor airspeed, and getting covered by everything that Fawn has to offer. This may be not looking in Guy Guy's favor. Not a good switch, Ooh, unless. Unless. No! <laughs> How are they alive? Uh, ducked it. <laughs> ducked it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like the guy guy's luck is still here. Oh my gosh. This could be it. Had the roll scouted. The DI up and all in, though, in order to get out of there. And now this is the guy guy getting a little desperate here with those uh, tornadoes. Okay. Trying to cover anything in the ground. Uh, oh, I see. I, it was the. It was the can. Right, yeah. It was the can. Can being immediately active, or it's hurtbox being immediately active. Frame one allows for Duck Hunt's uh, instant get out of jail free card. I'm gonna blow myself up. <laughs> yeah, and, and Fawn, you know, not not plus about that, so realizing that 200%. Like, yeah, I was gonna die eventually. The guy oh. got 122 has to make something happen. These combos are gonna be so difficult with this rage. Not gonna get that low percent anymore. This may be advantage. advantageous just to lose this stock. Okay, Vaughn looking extremely solid here and just forcing Luigi into such linear pathways on an already linear character. Like, Fawn can completely dominate what she wants Guy Guy to be doing. And a lot of that times it just comes down to, hey, you've got to like, get into mid-range and then either pick aggro or defense, and I can prep for that either way with clay pigeons and cans and everything else in the dog's pockets. All right, the guy guy looking to maybe take off one more stock. Oh, oh wow. the can actually, oh no, it's extending just, these hitboxes. It's just so active. Do that, do it again? It's already active for like 50 frames. And yeah. then like the additional boost and <gasps> the clay pigeon. Wow, the one frame saving Fawn from certain death. For those that didn't know, while Clay Pigeon is slow in terms of activation, you have to wait quite a while, the physical item is there immediately. Same thing with Can, though Can explodes and Clay Pigeon just fizzles. The yeah. Luigi always has that win condition online. One touch and you're gone. Let's see if Guy Guy can get it. One guy looking to do that, looking to, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so sorry about the little tap there, but just like Guy Guy is looking for that one tap, one grab, we are playing keep away. Like, no, sir, I would not like anything to do with Get you. Get close. Come on, uh, level can, three. Yeah, you can land. Empty jump level three. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Time to get serious. <laughs> oh my gosh, what an air dodge in. He looks like Fawn maybe wants just to throw out a smash <laughs> attack or a camp. And Fawn just so happy with that, smacking the table being like, yes, all that work. I think, gosh. And despite how tense it was because of the nature of both of these characters, I think that last stock illustrates the beautiful difference between Zoner and Trapper. This is even. This is yeah. totally even, by the way. I hate that. Even Steven. <laughs> Regardless. Yes. Zoning and trapping often come in two different flavors, mm -hmm. uh, or two flavors of the same kind of like general core game plan. It's like, I want to try and find ways to keep you away from me while still doing effective damage. What makes Duck Hunt almost the quintessential trapper because other trapping archetype, other trapping characters like Pac-Man and Snake have other benefits that they can pivot to, while Duck Hunt more or less excels by establishing a game plan and then playing off of it rather than playing into scrambles all that much. Yeah. They want to create the scramble, not be in the yeah. scramble. They want to like, hey, all of this chaos is happening over there. <laughs> yes. I'm very happy to watch. I'll get the popcorn. So the utility of that comes from what, you, what moves and what uh, objects are you throwing out that is creating forcing Guy Guy to look in a lot of different directions. He's not just looking at Fawn, he's got to look at this can, at the gunman that's over here somewhere, because I know Fawn put, uh, put down yeah. the gunman. It's